We're still in the heart of summer and I'm doing another summer themed video. Although this is a staple in fragrances as a top note, but when they're used in fragrances as a dominant note, they become very, very fresh and perfect to wear in the summertime. I'm talking about bergamot today and I've got a top 20 bergamot fragrances list for you. Find out about the list coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about bergamot in fragrances. And as I was saying, yes, bergamot is used a lot in top notes as a citrus, uh, a, a, you know, kind of like a main citrus note, but also used dominantly in fragrances for a really, really invigorating, fresh experience. And I love the way the, the fragrance that features uh, bergamot smells because it's kind of got a lemoniness, but also a little liminess, a little sweetness, a little greenness and floral quality all rolled into one. I absolutely really love bergamot fragrances. And there's a ton of fragrances that features this note, and I'm gonna tell you 20 of them. I've got two bonuses as well before I get to the list. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you haven't subscribed please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so are you a fan of bergamot and fragrances do you like this note as a top note but other notes being the focus note in a fragrance or do you like it as a dominant note where you can enjoy all the freshness of the bergamot we're going to start off with creed creed's himalaya at number 20 and this is to me kind of a musky uh experience uh, and uh very citrusy so musk and woods and citruses all rolled into one and uh, where the, the, the bergamot is not very you know prominent in this one you've got lots of musk here and then also you've got some amber grease so there's some light animalic qualities very very light and so it adds kind of a marine experience as well but there's loads of bergamot with sandalwood there's grapefruit there's lemon cedar so basically it's a combination of musks and woods and citruses together it's very fresh and it's also very you know cozy there's a coziness about this particular one and I think that sandalwood adds a creamy layer to the fragrance which makes it very very relaxing to wear Himalayan is the first fragrance uh, from uh, Creed uh, at the, the Bergamot list of top 20. Moving on to the House of Mugler. I'm featuring this one here. It is, after all, a Neroli fragrance, but it has lots of Bergamot. It's Mugler's Cologne. Uh, this is a great uh, fragrance to have in a collection if you're looking for something fresh and soapy and clean and it does definitely focus on the neroli but it has loads of bergamot in here as well so it's very very juicy citrusy and then also green so they add pentagran in this fragrance it enhances the greenness of the bergamot and so you've got not only the flower of the citrus tree you've got this beautiful juicy citrus fruit and then you've got the leaves in there and there's some musk and orange blossom in here as well for a very very clean soapy fresh green floral citrus experience really wonderful to wear Mugler Cologne at number 19. It's so great. I love that one. Uh, this might disappoint some of you. I'm putting this here from this one house. In fact, this house is featured three times in this list. This is the first of three. The other two are closer to the top. We're going at number 18. It's Nishane's Wulong Cha. So I put this here because it does feature bergamot, but it doesn't really smell like a bergamot fragrance. And it, but, but, you know, according to the notes, it features it pretty dominantly. Yes, it has a major citrusy vibe, but for me, I get lots of tea with this one. So it's kind of like the tea and the bergamot and the orange because there's definitely a sweetness here. And I don't get too much sweetness when the bergamot is totally standing out. But there's definitely this kind of like sweet citrusy experience. So it's not only the bergamot, but also orange with loads of tea. But along with the tea, bergamot and orange, you've got fig, musk, mandarin orange, some lychee fruit. It's a cozy, really cozy tea experience. Tea fragrances to me uh, definitely have a cozy edge to them. They're very relaxing and soothing. This one is really 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 great and the only reason it's ranked lower is because it's definitely more focusing on the sweet orange and the tea notes so Nishane's Wulong Cha at number uh, 18 moving on to the house of Celine it's Parade this one right here this definitely is one of the really great smelling citrus fragrances from this house also whereas the collection from Celine seems to be a little subdued this one to me as wearing experience is a little louder even though it's a citrus fragrance but it's got loads of bergamot beautiful sparkling juicy juicy little tart little sweet bergamot here with vetiver you've got neroli you've got oak moss and musk just a delight to wear it goes down pretty easy it smells really really fresh really really invigorating I love it it's Celine Parade at number 17 and then moving on to the house of Wilhelm Parfumerie it's morning chess so this 
is a kind of a Aventus like experience, but lots of bergamot in this one. Loads of bergamot along with the galbanum, so the galbanum kind of enhances the greenness, but it's definitely very, very juicy and sparkling and, you know, sweet tart kind of an experience with the bergamot here. In addition to the bergamot and the galbanum, you've also got some Tuscan leather, there's some patchouli, there's some black amber, smoky and spicy kind of notes in here. Really, really a great fragrance to wear. It does, you know, it does settle to a little bit of a leather experience, but for me, it's very, very fresh and the leather kind of appears towards the end of the life of the fragrance. And of course, you'll be reminded a little bit of Aventus, but it's definitely not pineapple fruity, if that makes sense. So it's Wilhelm Parfumerie's Morning Chess at number 16. Up next, going to the house of Algabra Parfums, it's Scent of Paradise. Are you guys familiar with this one? I really do enjoy this one, it's really, really soft and cozy, musky, uh, and then fruity, and very, very citrusy as well. Lots of bergamot here and lots of fruity notes. And I feel like the fruity notes here are a little like melon-like. There's a little bit of a, not marine necessarily, but little kind of like cucumbery melon kind of experience that kind of enhances the bergamot experience. So you've got not only this freshness and invigorating, sparkling experience from the bergamot, and you've got this kind of like, this uh, very watery kind of fruitiness from the fruity notes. In addition to the bergamot and the fruity notes, you've got musk, you've got iris, lavender, sandalwood, amber, rose. Yeah, the rose appears a little bit, but lots of powderiness here. It's almost like you're floating in a cloud when you wear this particular fragrance. It totally feels like that. Uh, it makes sense to call it Scent of Paradise. It's just a very fluffy kind of an almost ethereal kind of a floaty kind of a fresh fragrance. Really be beautiful. Scent of Paradise from the house of Algabra. Parfums, a wonderful fragrance for you to check out. This next fragrance is from the House of Commodity. I've been talking a lot about this particular fragrance, Moss. The whole collection of Moss fragrances from the Scent Space collection are really, really great. I'm going with the original Moss, not the plus or not the minus. The original Moss is the one that has the most bergamot. The minus doesn't, and the plus focuses on the Oak Moss more. Here, it's lots of bergamot, so it's very, very juicy, and once again, very, very sparkling, kind of a bright, you know, sweet tart kind of an experience with the bergamot, but they've thrown in some grapefruit here. So there's some light citrus spice in here. There's some zing. And then the pettigrand, this bitter greenness. And of course, the little oak moss comes in and cedar wood and orange blossom creates a great, great wearing experience. Really love this stuff. I think the whole collection is great. It's like if you have all three, depending on your mood and who you're going to hang out with or be with, you can go with a minus one. If you're going to, if you're going to hang out with someone that doesn't like fragrances a lot, you can go with a plus one if you want people to notice you kind of a thing or just go with the uh, you know the one that's in between if you're not sure who you're gonna be with but moss is a great scent check it out commodity moss at number 14 moving on to the house of profumum Roma it's orangea this one right here and I have been speaking a lot about this particular fragrance as well and this is a combination of pettigran with bergamot there's cedar here as well and there's also mint so there's a little bit of a green minty aromatic touch here also in the background I get a little bit of creamy coconutty experience. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but there's something like that here. But I do experience the bergamot's peel here and then the pettigrand's bitter greenness. And it's very, very juicy. And it's kind of like, maybe there's a little salt because I get that creamy coconuttiness. It's almost like taking me to a little bit of a beachy direction. It's a wonderful fragrance. I really, really love this one. Profum Roma Orangea. And the reason these are ranked lower and not at the top um, the bergamot is not overwhelming because the, the closer we get to number one, the more bergamot we're going to experience. Uh, moving on to the house of Jo Malone. And this is probably the one fragrance in this mix that's not uber fresh. It's Jo Malone's Oud and Bergamot. So it's, you know, contrasted with the bergamot. Um, Oud is uh, contrasted with bergamot here. And it's actually more bergamot and less Oud, but it's the combination of this kind of like a little dirty woody oodiness and uh, the bergamot here so you've got the the there it's a fresh fragrance even though it's oud it doesn't have the warmth you don't have vanilla or resins and things like that in here to add some warmth to the fragrance it's a fresh experience but there's some depth from the oud and the cedar wood in here so if you like the idea of bergamot but with some substance with woodiness uh, definitely try Jo Malone's oud and bergamot at number 12 and then uh, I'm not sure what the status of this brand is I know they have pulled from the USA but I'm still gonna feel it. It's Atelier Cologne's Bergamot Soleil. This I wore so much of. It's so effervescent. It's so sparkling. It's so refreshing. Uh, the, the bergamot here is really, really invigorating. I love this one and I, I wore a lot of this. But if you haven't caught my video, uh, 
Atelier Cologne pulled out of the USA. In fact, I think they pulled out of the entire North America, so they're not selling here. No presence on, on the web. I'm still featuring it. Probably you can get bottles, but you can also bring back bottles from Europe and things like that. So it's a great fragrance to check out. And it features bergamot, bitter orange, lavender, oak moss, vetiver, cardamom, and ambrette. Beautiful and very, very sparkling uh, bergamot fragrance. It's from the house of Atelier Cologne and it's Bergamot Soleil. All right, going to the top 10, and this is number two of three fragrances from the house of Nishane. It's number 10, it's Ambra Calabria. So this is uh, another fragrance that focuses on or includes a, a pretty prominent uh, presence of bergamot in a fragrance from the house of Nishane. For me, it's not about bergamot, but it has loads of bergamot in it. That's why it's kind of ranked a little low. But I really love this. This is one of my favorite fragrances from Nishane. It's a very unique amber experience. And I think it's because of the amber. It's, I think about amber with this particular fragrance. I don't think about bergamot, but there's loads of bergamot, as I said. So it's bergamot, green notes, amber, galbanum, coriander, vanilla, jasmine and musk and you've got that galbanum to add this kind of bitter greenness to the experience this kind of really beautiful spice of the coriander here there's definitely sweetness here i think the amber and the vanilla add sweetness to this fragrance so uh, it makes for kind of a fresh and uh, sweet, uh, warm kind of experience, like a clash of those two styles, which makes for a great wearing experience. Ombre Calabria at number 10. If you don't know that one, uh, do check it out. The next one is all about bergamot. It's Laboratorio Olfativo's Bergamato, this one right here. This one is a very fresh and a little salty take on bergamot, and it's got bergamot as a dominant note. It's the star here. There's four fragrances in this collection. Now, I did a review of the first three, and I think they just launched Arancia Rosa. I think it's the blood orange note, but they had lemon, mandarin, and bergamot when they first launched this. And the bergamot features bergamot, bitter orange, cardamom, and white musk. So it's a simplistic wear, not very, very complex. It's also not the longest lasting, but it is also not the most expensive and very, very fresh and invigorating to wear. So Laboratorio Olfativo, it's a bergamato at uh, number nine. Uh, moving on to the house of essential parfums. It's nice bergamot or nice bergamot, I always say. Uh, depending on what you want to call it. Uh, you can call it either, I guess. It's lots of bergamot here with the jasmine, and it's a fresh, very, very cozy experience, and it has a kind of a floral experience. Some light sweetness in here, and then, of course, the wood. So it's bergamot, jasmine, ylang ylang, cedar, and tonka. The ylang ylang adds a little trop tropical kind of an experience, tropical yellow floral experience. Jasmine always does add, you know, I think of tropical as well. I think of California as well. We have lots of jasmine growing here, and I love that fragrance. And it's a nice contrast to this very, very juicy bergamot note in here. It's wonderful. It smells so good. Definitely check it out. This is also under 100 hundred bucks so won't break your bank you can liberally say spray this stuff on and it's like just really really invigorating fresh experience with lots of bergamot so it's nice bergamot or nice bergamot from the house of uh, essential parfums at number eight next moving on to the house of rosendo matu it's number one and it does feature, well, I guess it's called number one bergamot, but it's got a couple of other notes listed as well. And it does feature bergamot as a pretty prominent note in here. And I think it's all about bergamot tea and petagran. The petagran is here again and I think petagran is so green and bitter earthy woody complements the greenness of it kind of brings out the greenness of the the bergamot you know it does that's what I, I experience with uh, petagran and bergamot together but there is that cozy tea note in here as well so it kind of gives you that really uh, relaxed kind of a vibe very very mellow chill kind of an experience and it's fresh and it's invigorating it's green and citrusy but then it's also very very relaxing along with the tea the bergamot and the petagran you've got lavender Lavender here, neroli, sandalwood, lime, and mandarin. So it's a very, very citrusy experience. Probably my number two or number three favorite from Rosendo Matu. Number one, uh, great scent at number seven. Uh, next, going to the house of Guerlain, it's um, Bergamot, uh, Bergamot Calabria is what it's called. Uh, this to me, it's a very, very fresh and tart, a little salty experience for bergamot that I really, really love. I enjoy this one a lot and it smells really, really wonderful and definitely a great staple to have from the, the Aqua Allegoria collection. Just a great smelling bergamot fragrance. But uh, once again, it features bergamot with petagran, but with this particular fragrance, they've thrown in some ginger zing to the fragrance. You've got cardamom as well, some woods and some musk. Very, you know, perfect wear. My, my, the juice has gotten kind of cloudy. That's strange. I'm just noticing that. <laughs> um, but it, either way, it's such a great smelling fragrance. It still smells great. I love it. I, I think I'm going to probably have to use that up uh, on a trip here very soon because uh, 
the juice looks kind of weird but still as a smell I think it's a, a great great smell from the house of Guerlain so it's bergamot calabria from their aqua allegoria collection of fragrances all right moving on to number five it's aqua de parma's bergamotto de calabria are you a fan of this one are you guys a fan of this collection of blue fragrances from aqua de parma I think I'm gonna put together a video very very soon I was thinking about it but I don't have a lot of aqua de parma fragrances in the blue collection so I'll probably do an overview of the whole, whole brand but this is definitely a really great smelling bergamot fragrance with loads of bergamot there's citron or lemon or you know citrus type of a note here with ginger vetiver cedar floral notes musk and benzoin this one along with that guerlain throws in the ginger note so there's definitely kind of this zingy spicy kind of a note but a very fresh experience the fragrance is very very fresh but it does settle to kind of woods and uh, musk in the base wonderful fragrance aqua de parma bergamato di calabria that is number five all right moving on to the house of paris monte carlo and another bergamot fragrance this time called the same exact thing it's paris monte carlo's bergamato di calabria named exactly the same thing both of them are italian wait paris monte carlo is from monte carlo french um, but either way this is actually another great smelling uh, bergamot fragrance with lots of pettigran once again there's vetiver so a lot of these fragrances might start smelling similar but you know they all have their own unique twists and nuances and things like that so if you're into the idea of bergamot as fragrances definitely get some samples or go to a store that has all the fragrances and smell them all in the same location to see which one works best for you because this one not only does it have the bergamot and the pettigram but it has vetiver it has neroli and there's some uh, spiciness from black pepper with iris and sandalwood once again very very fresh fragrance love it it's bergamato di calabria from the house of paris monte carlo and this is the third and final nishane fragrance it's colonize for a great smelling very very invigorating fresh uh, fragrance experience uh, with bergamot and it's lots of bergamot with jasmine and jasmine and bergamot do work wonderfully together as well I really like the idea and there's tea in this one as well tea coziness not as prominent as some of the other fragrances that featured knee I don't get uh, to tea I don't get that tea experience as cozy as I do uh, with the other ones but it definitely has the presence here along with neroli grapefruit musk lemon vetiver and lily of the valley it has a very green vibe and very very fresh and very invigorating Nishane Colonize. I love that stuff. Top three is going to be the, the king of the uh, bergamot fragrances. At number two, it's Zerzhov's Neo. And this one to me takes uh, bergamot into kind of a lightly classic and masculine direction, kind of takes on, uh, uh, you know, in a direction of something like Eau Sauvage or something like YSL Pour Homme or Chanel Paul Monsieur, kind of that kind of lightly cheaper barbershop fougere kind of a direction, but it smells fantastic. It's bergamot, neroli, green, Green notes, vetiver, cardamom, pink pepper, jasmine, nutmeg, cedar, and guyac wood. It's a wonderful fragrance to wear. I like its whole hint to classics, masculine classics with the whole bergamot thing. It smells fantastic. So Zerzhov's Neo at number two. And are you gonna guess my number one? Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance, my favorite. Uh, it's, it's a tie with another fragrance from this house, but this is just a beautifully cozy bergamot fragrance experience. It's Le Labo's Bergamot 22. Fantastic smelling bergamot fragrance. fan freaking -tastic. Bergamot 22 is so, so good. I absolutely love it. And it features notes of bergamot, vetiver, grapefruit, orange blossom, pettigran, musk, and cedar. It's a delicious combination of notes. One I really, really love to wear and definitely a favorite fragrance of mine from Le Labo. It's just a perfect summer staple definitely one fragrance to have so it's bergamot 22 at number one from the house of le labo and that's my list guys thanks so much for watching my top 20 bergamot fragrances video what are your thoughts on these fragrances what's missing what should i check out next and are you a fan of these fragrances let me know put some comments down so i can find out either way thanks so much for watching stay tuned for another video tomorrow uh, but other than that uh, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. All right, I've got three bonus fragrances for you. I could not do bonus fragrances here. There's way too many. And one fragrance I forgot to add to the list, sadly. But I'm going to mention it as a bonus fragrance. It's from the house of Nila Fardunil. It's Jardin de la Bergamot. It does remind me of Bergamot 22 from uh, the house of Le Labo. But still a very, very great smelling, fresh, fresh bergamot fragrance here. It's very, very invigorating. In fact, I can definitely use it as an alternative to Bergamot 22 because they smell 
pretty close. They might have some uh, minute differences uh, between, you know, uh, the wearing experience with the dry down and things like that. But it features loads of bergamot here with pettigran, neroli, grapefruit, musk, ambroxan, vetiver, and lime. It's quite delicious. If you love bergamot fragrances, definitely try Nilafar du Nil's Jardins de la Bergamot. If you don't know this brand, do check them out. I have a few videos or one video on the channel and some inclusions of fragrances uh, throughout the different videos. So definitely a great house to check out. They're an Egyptian house. So Nilafar du Nil, a uh, bonus fragrance for you. And then another one here from the House of Creed, Silver Mountain Water. And it's not necessarily uber bergamot -y. It's got tea, it's got musk and blackcurrant. And it does have lots of bergamot as well, along with pettigran, sandalwood, and galbanum. Very unique smelling fragrance. It's a tea fragrance. Smells wonderful, really, really great, but it does have that presence of bergamot. So it's Silver Mountain Water from the House of Creed. Finally, uh, I'm including this one as well. Maison Francis Kirk Jens Aqua Universalis Forte. So even though it's more lemons, I still get a lot of bergamot with this one as well. So it's ber bergamot along with the, the lemons and then the, the white flowers are here. It's a very white floral experience along with jasmine and musk. It smells very fresh and clean and a little soapy and also a little laundry like but very very musky and the musk in here is like white musk. It's very very clean. Very clean fragrance to wear. Lots of citruses. Beautiful fragrance. Maison Francis Kirkjens Aqua Universalis Forte is the third and final bonus fragrance for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Bye bye.